Have no fear, Mr. Organic is here, and this is Organically Speaking. We got a top chill game guy here that's going to give y'all some understanding, man, from the financials to the women and to just life, man. So I've been seeing this guy on the Internet going crazy, giving his real perspectives on, you know, getting money, um, telling women, you know, what they should and shouldn't do, or even, you know, helping them along the way, giving them some real pure game. Um, saw him a few times with my dog, Ben, man, traveling the world, living that top level life, you know, across the seas, you know, also here. So we in Miami, so it's only right he pull up to the organic studios, man, and break it down for him. We got Goldie. What's up, brother? How you feeling, champ? Man, I'm feeling amazing, man. Appreciate inviting me on here. Oh, yeah. You know, we going to get to it. We going we gonna to talk on a level that most people ain't talking on because we got the same type of mind, so they right. going to hear something different from us. For sure. We got to give them the perspectives, man. So basically, I want to just come in smooth. Initially, where where are you from originally? I'm from California. California, okay. Yeah, but I was living in Vegas for like a decade, was out in Atlanta, then just got here to Miami. Okay, when you get in Miami? Uh, January 15th. So okay. shit, I'm damn near two months exactly. Damn, okay, you got yeah. it to me. I got here in November. Yeah. Time fly, though. I just, I remember just telling them of us, oh, I just got here a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> now it's four months. Like, God damn, Miami yeah. different, man. Why you pick Miami? Man, because everybody out here, this is where the money is. Everybody yeah. coming here from New York, from L.A., man, and the sun, the women. I mean, I got to be where it's popping at. You know, yeah. you want to do big shit, you got to be where everybody big at. You For know? sure. Where, where, where is anybody bigger than, than Miami right now? Nobody. Everybody big is in Miami. Yeah, and it seems like, and I, I love places, too, that make you grow, right? I don't want to be, I always was a shark in the pond, and I became a killer whale in the ocean. Now I want to be a kraken in a motherfucking just abyss, you know uh, what I'm saying? Nah, and really Miami hard. is that. I feel like you can't be the biggest motherfucker in Miami. It's always more inspiration. It's yeah. always more, you know, um, to do here, and it's that's why lot. I love it. Yeah, it's a lot of motherfuckers having money. Shit, I was in Vegas for a decade, you know what I'm saying? I was the biggest thing out there. Right. I was like, man, I got to go somewhere else. I'm going to get too comfortable. Yeah. When uh went back to Cali, went to uh, Atlanta, I'm just like, nah, this ain't big enough. Right. You know, I can't be feeling like I'm that big. If right. I, if I'm feeling like I'm that big, I'm in the wrong spot. Because you you know the niggas who, they the biggest nigga in their hood. Right. Right? They ain't growing up. Right. Yeah, it's just like when people say, um, you don't want to be the smartest in the room. You don't want to be the richest in the room. You don't want to be... The riches in the town, the smart. You always want to be where you can evolve, yeah. and people got more than you doing more, so it, it it makes you grow. And I always was on some. I don't never compete with niggas. I try to eat with niggas and collaborate, yeah. and I get motivated. I don't hate, so I like to see people have more than me. I like to see people doing good. Yeah, that shit motivates. Yeah, hell yeah. Like I never was in competition with nobody else around me, but I need that motivation. I need to see the yacht. Yeah. I need to see the Bugatti. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Lambo Raul. He got that Bugatti. I'm like, damn. That's what's up, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. thing, so we know everything's obtainable. People scared of manifestation because they dream of it and talk about it, but they're not putting it into action. They don't want to see it and touch it. Yeah, it's a different sure. level when you're here in Miami. Yeah, man, so, you see, because you're seeing them, them supercars every day. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like Hondas and Nissans yeah, out yeah, here. Yeah, so it normalizes shit. Once you feel like something's possible, then, then that's when you get it. Right. And, and, and that people don't activate that part of their manifestation, yeah. right? They talk about a dream, like I say, yeah. but they're not going for the test drive. They're not going to, you know, Brickle, let me walk down the street yeah. and look at these cars. They're they scared. They feel ashamed. No, yeah. no. Activate that part. Yeah, now go to. hustle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't nobody finna just pull up to you and, and goddamn give it to you, but you want to see it. You could be at that street corner ready to grab it, though. Yeah, man. It, it do something to me when I see big shit. When I see the yachts, when I see them $50 million, it do something to me. Yeah. You know, in my soul, in my spirit, man, it just activates something. For sure. You know? and, and that's what real ones do, and, and, and that's what we're here to do. So I know you talked about women, so Miami is very, very known for the women here. So what's your perspective on the Miami women? Man, you know, I ain't even going to lie to you. I ain't been outside like that. Right. I done hit a club a couple times, but... I mean, as far as online, since I've been here, women have seen me out and hit me up on the gram like, yo, I'd have seen you here, I'd have seen you there. And they all been pretty pleasant. Right. All the women I've talked to who tell me about Miami women, like, oh, they this, they that. That ain't been my experience. Right. You know, but I ain't been outside like that. Yeah, I feel you too because I'm, I'm a homebody. You know what I mean? I used to be out all the time, but last five years since I really became somebody, as you know, when you got a lot, you got to move a little different. We can't yeah, be out here yeah. freestyling, just, just slanging everything. And, no, no, we got to move at a different, oh, you know what I'm saying, altitude. So I've been really a homebody, just really getting to the money and my fitness and getting my mind and my mental right. So when I came to Miami, I could see from afar, like, damn, okay, it's different. You could walk to the motherfucking Publix. You see oh, a bitch man. looking structured. You hear me? A bitch built like a motherfucking Everywhere. ostrich at the motherfucking Publix. You know Everywhere what I'm saying? Out here. It's That's different. That's why I like. They take care of themselves on a different level out here for right. sure. Right. And, and it's appreciated, the ones that are, you know, how you feel about the natural and the BBL bodies? Because this is big here, too. It's like this. 
people think that I uh, I be saying stuff about a bitch with a BBL, but I'm like, you know, I I ain't mad at it if it's looking right. right. You know what I'm saying? But right. most of these women, they getting a BBL. Right. They not changing their eating habits. Come they on, not man. working out. So now they going back and getting their second run. So they really just a fat girl, but they think they skinny. So they eating worse. Right. They looking worse. Right. They calves is fat. Uh -huh. They thighs. You feel me? Tangled up. The, the cellulite. They face still fat. Yep. You feel me? So. And I that mean, upper it, shoulder underneath the motherfucking that, that, triceps moving. What I'm if you going to do it and it look right, because a BBL done saved some, some women's lives. Almost for definitely. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, she might have caught somebody that she would have never caught his eye if she didn't have that. So uh -huh. I ain't mad at it. But don't just work out. Yeah. Work out too, though. For Get sure. Get it done, but work Get out. Get your nutrition plan yeah. in order. So, like, I've seen some BBLs, and they be, if they're right, they're right, right? Yeah. But if you're just doing it, you're cutting your gut out and putting it in your ass and goddamn trying to get your, the, the thighs together and yeah. trying to work out now, it's not yeah. going to work that way. Yeah, no. You're still eating meatloaf. You're still eating the motherfucking uh, chili cheese fries and shit, bitch. You yeah. know what I mean? Your bladder is all fucked up, drinking yeah. Kool-Aid and goddamn big Fanta's pineapple. And it's really, and it's really a health concern. For cause, sure. Because what happens is, you think that you skinnier than you are, Come on but now. you still that fat. Yeah. So you still unhealthy because you looking in the mirror and your waist is slim. You not gonna do what you would have did had, had you have been fat. You looked in the mirror and said, "Damn, I got I got to do something about right. this." Now you done got your body done. You look a little bit slimmer. You still that fat. You so are. you're not gonna do nothing about it. Yeah. So now you are gonna get even more unhealthy. For you sure, you're saying? still eating all the crab boils yeah. and all that, and your pH balances is off. So it's like, damn, baby, you got the little BBL look good, but damn, I'm looking for the motherfucking for the ass and, down. And it don't then, look right. And then if you already know. The BBL trend is gone. It's going back to the natural. Most all, all the most popular been getting the, you know, the reductions and shit yeah. like that. So if you just got on that wave, you five years from now, that's not even in no yeah, more. Yeah, that shit is it's not trendy no more. And nah. and I, like I said, the ones that do it right, we understand you, yeah, we salute you. But yeah, the ones yeah. that's all sloppy body look like the Kool-Aid man, but you got an yeah. ass on it, we ain't we ain't appreciating nah, that. Nah. You know what I'm saying? You're not better than a natural <laughs> bitch. I'm just gonna keep it pure with you. Nah, you're not. You know what I'm saying? Don't think you are because your ass fat. All you're gonna do is get your fuck more. You got some more likes, some more attention, some more dick. Where the bag at? Oh, you ain't work on your insides. You're not really take care of a man. You don't know how to motherfucking cater to a man. You think you just bag, you got a fat ass. You know what I'm saying? So speaking of that, like we see with the Drea situation, right? Women mad at her or men are mad at her because she came up. From what I see, how she looked to me, like she prepared herself for this shit. Nah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can tell she been she been on that search for a long time. But I mean, anybody in that type of I mean, women, period. Right. Where the, how you mad at a woman for doing what a woman's supposed to do? She she trying to find a man, a protector, a provider, right. a good, a good provider for her and her kids. Right. Who's better to provide than a man making how many millions of dollars that man making? Right. Why y'all mad at that? I don't give a fuck how young she is. If that she he the same age of her son, goddamn it, he got a good motherfucking person to chill with, might teach him how to play ball, get him give him a little goddamn contract or something. You understand know I me? Mean? Right. These females <laughs> mad cause they they trapped a nigga who they thought had some money he ain't really had. Yeah, he pumped she, faith on you, you you trapped a scammer who was having a good run. Uh -huh. He ain't he ain't on that run. No more. You right. trapped you trapped a nigga too. Right. It just didn't turn out the same. Exactly. So don't hate. Yeah. Especially you niggas. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the little nigga. How, how about that's that nigga dream girl? How about he been dreaming of her since he was a kid? You know what I'm saying? I said the he same gets to the shit. league and he found the bitch nigga. I said the I'm same gonna, shit. I'm gonna impregnate her off the rip. I said the same shit. Shout that's out to him. That's exactly what happened. Because in the day she might have been fucked by niggas and all that niggas fuck everybody. That's yeah, just how it go. Me. That might have been that nigga dream bitch, nigga. He got her on the first woo. Congratulations, nigga. Man, you know, small thing to a giant. How much money he got, that ain't shit. Ain't hey, shit to him, man. So, like, y'all worried about the wrong things. And you niggas hating, talking yeah. about you fucked her before and all that. Y'all niggas lame as yeah, fuck. Yeah, like. Y'all niggas major lame. Y'all catching virgins around here, man. I ain't right. met one. So, me you know, you know I what like I'm a saying? bitch that been, did some light <laughs> action because you got to come with it. You fuck with me, baby. <laughs> so, I need you to have been some circus or lay type understandings. <laughs> I don't want no stiff body ass bitch, none ass. Man, bitch, you, gonna, you ain't going to make it through the night. Right. I need that's a bitch that they been through some things. That's, you what that's what I'm saying. That clock gonna start over with me anyway. That's how I say it. You feel me? <laughs> shit. Y'all niggas want nuns and all this shit. Nigga, what type of dick y'all throwing, man? That's funny as hell. Real they shit, They ain't though. throwing nothing. That's why they need a woman who ain't got no experience. Facts. And they scared of that shit. Yeah. I like a woman because they gonna... And then they recognize a real nigga, though. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if a chick is bad, right? She been with a lot of niggas, top-tier niggas, and then you come in that door and you got everything going on, she going to sit her motherfucking ass down. Yeah. She going to buy by the rules by yeah. a real nigga. Y'all yeah. niggas ain't got that in y'all fucking ain't DNA. Got ain't got it. You could tell by their responses on that video, man. They so mad like, like the bitch did it to them. Right. I was not hating on her. About to make her have a miscarriage. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Let the bitch breathe, man. Shit, the bitch that came up. Let the nah, bitch breathe. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? That nigga want to do that. And even if he did it on some lame shit, nigga, that's his fault. He going to learn for the next time. Yeah. Or hey, he might not. He might do it again. Right, hey, we all, fuck we, him. We, we act like at 21 years old, we was all, all had all the game. And right. knew, knew, you know what I'm saying? 
So it is what it is. Right. Y'all should have y'all should have really put game on him early. But in the day, you know, he probably wanted that. And, and that's his family. Let him live. You know what I mean? Y'all worry about the wrong things. And that's and that's wrong with today's society anyway. They on this shit worrying and criticizing other people when they household ain't in order. Man, I'm you know what I mean? tell you. They I'm baby daddy goddamn you. just got fired from the metro riding the city bus. <laughs> and you worrying about a nigga with the hundred. Right, in. that's who you chose. Right, that's who you chose. Yeah. That's you let sit that seat in your motherfucking uterus, bitch. You understand me, bitch? You ain't do it right. Nah, that's you know what I mean? You got that crackhead bitch that own all them pills, uh-huh, pregnant fuck uh-huh, nigga. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Why you worried about this nigga? Yeah. That's how it be, though, that's man. That's one thing about the internet, man. That shit, wow. And, that's you, what I you, say. and you click on the pages of the people talking the most shit, you be like, man, that's wild. How you even saying anything? Man, you ever click, like, because we on that internet, we do what we do. We do our numbers. It's fun. You know what I'm saying? But we talk our shit in a different provocative way, right? So you get bitches on there be like, I would never, you would never, what? Like who? You go to their page, like bitch. What you mean? You would never, man, yeah, bitch. bitch you you could. would kiss my motherfucking feet on a Sunday in front <laughs> yeah, of your mama. Yeah, bitch, yeah. You couldn't. You could never. Yeah. What you mean? You we wouldn't. <laughs> bitch, you built like a goddamn. You know what I'm saying a furless bison, like yeah. skedaddle. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It, it, it don't be nobody worth anything who be saying something. And then half the time it be a fake page. I'll be like, man, you had to log off your page, log into another page just to say what you wanted to say. That's crazy. Yeah, and, and it's just, it just we appreciate people that, you know, getting that algorithm. So, me, I like to go back and forth. I want to boost that algorithm, so I like to engage. Because I know it's not real. Yeah. It's never going to happen in real life. Nah. I got every bitch I ever wanted since I've been seventh grade. So, I know what's real and what's not. So, yeah. it's, it's, it's funny sometimes. And most people don't do that. I always tell people, make sure your real life is dope for real. Nah, you know, make sure you're happy for real. Make sure you're really getting some money for real. You know what I'm saying? Make sure yeah. you take care of the intangibles first before you get on this internet and try to turn it up. It's okay to turn your shit up and look more than what you got. That's yeah, all right. Yeah. But make sure that real foundation is set. Man, shit, I'll probably listen. And the more I've been doing this and meeting niggas, I realize, man, I'm disappointed. No, oh, for sure. And 90% of this shit ain't what you thought it was. Yeah. But then you start to realize, well, that's just what it is. You right. know, it, it was my it was my fault for even thinking it was real. This shit is damn near TV. Yeah, for sure. It, it, it is. And then some people like, don't even do it for a purposeful, you know, like situation, Man, that, should, doing, that should be killing me. That's the crazy part. I thought right? we was trying to get some money. So that, you, so what you really doing? You just doing that. it to do it? So niggas you trying to be cool just now. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas trying to be. Just to they trying to play catch up. Yeah, they trying to do back to the future and re- relive their high childhood. They didn't get yeah. bitches in yeah. high school yeah. or college. Yeah. No, nah, nigga, we've been doing that. So like, we trying, we are doing this shit for real. It's a different perspective. And anybody who's really, you know, from that seed, they understand. Like, nigga, we ain't out here playing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We putting our life on the line, our, our time, our family, all this shit, really trying to do it massive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ain't no, no time reason. to be pump faking. And then, you know, a lot of these dudes, it's like, man, at the end of the day, I don't care how much money you got, how many lights you got, nigga, you still couldn't hang out. No. Like, back in the day, like, nigga, you couldn't hang just because you had some money. No. You feel what I'm saying? So don't feel that good just because you got some lights. I don't mean nothing, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Like, like, we get to having a conversation. That shit ain't going too far. Nigga, don't come around no more. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and, and these niggas, they like the broad. They they be on these niggas' dick like, why do I care if this nigga got this, that, or third? I ain't trying to fuck him. Right. So why you niggas be so on these niggas so much just because what they got? But who are they, though? What's their character like? Right. Talk about the nigga character, and you like what he's talking about. You like what he's saying, not just, oh, he got this, he got that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Where the integrity and where, and like, for me, it's always, I look at the motherfucker. And, 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 and I ain't saying that to hate, because I can right. respect what it took to get what you got. Most but definitely. that ain't the end all be all, though. No, it's never that. It, it's for me, like I say, I look at a motherfucker, right? If I fuck with them in any type of way, especially the, the altitude I'm flying in now, I look at their friends. If your friends Man. ain't got shit, too, nigga, you're not going to come around me, nigga, and you, you, you the only nigga shining. Like... Any nigga around me, we all did it to the top. My best yeah. friend that we crumb up in this YouTube shit with, I got a Ferrari, he got a Lambo. Yeah, I got a 4 by 4 big motherfucking G-Wagon, he went and got the yeah, motherfucking hey, Lambo hey, that's truck. A, that's how you supposed that's to do it. That's how you do it. But and at the same time, like though, everybody ain't coming like you coming. Everybody True. you fucking with ain't, ain't got that they same got ambition, though. Yeah. You know, so you want to do it like that for everybody around, but everybody don't got that drive to yeah. it. And, and for me, that's why my circle's so small. It's like almost a goddamn, it's, it's invisible type. And that's how I stand on it because I'm yeah. going to go 100 percent with my yeah. people. That goes for if a real bitch I'm fucking with, we 100 percent. My dogs, we you ask me for some nigga, you got it. I ain't gonna question it because you ain't gonna be around me because I know I ain't gonna question you if I needed it from you. Yeah. So you hit me, nigga, it's there, and that's the only people I fuck with. So it's such a rare commodity to have that shit yeah, no, that is appreciated. Real. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. People don't move like that today, and that's fine. No, they, they ain't gonna move like that around me. You understand yeah, me? Yeah. Especially when it comes to like a woman. You know, like 
I saw Shaq was saying like, don't really confide into your woman like that. And I don't know, I don't know what he got going on, how he, you know, take care of his household. But my bitch, and this is my real bitch, we need to know everything that's going on together. Man, that's what I'm saying. I, I saw that same shit, and I was like, if it's a bitch, I ain't really fucking with, of course. Of but course. if it's my bitch for real, and I'm trusting her enough right. to be here, and we breaking bread, and we right. doing shit. I'm going to tell my bitch whatever. You got that right. Look, look, what skeletons you niggas got in your closet that you don't right. want nobody to know? Like, what is you doing? <laughs> this the bitch you nothing in, you laying with every night. You yeah. don't know that bitch want to know everything. Says this, right, the listen, motherfucking sink shit. Because when, when, when you and your bitch on the same type of time, it's like y'all start sharing one mind. And she right. can have your back in areas because she really know you. Right. So she can have your back when you, you don't even see it because she know these little flaws. She know these little things right. about you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And two is always better than one. Always. I done, listen, I done made most of my money. Because of women. Of course. They, it's because they energy. When you get a woman really fucking with you on your same page, a woman's energy is powerful. Most definitely. They're emotional. Emotion moves world. So when you can get her and her emotions on your same page, man, you can't be you can fucked manifest with. anything. Most definitely. And they're going to ride And, and niggas it. don't know how to use their woman like that. They don't. Because y'all not even on the same page. Because you're not 100%. Yeah. You playing, you playing a half in, half out game, yeah. so she going to give you half. She don't know how to give you but it you, all. But you know, it's because you niggas picked wrong in the first place. Most point. definitely. Because niggas don't even know how to pick it. Dudes come to me on my coaching all the time, and I'm like, but well, we, we got to start from the beginning. Right. You already... We can't fix this situation. No. You done picked the wrong woman. Y'all don't up. even know how to pick a woman. Mm -hmm. Y'all be chasing a woman that's running from you. Come on, champ. You supposed to be picking a one that's looking at you. Come on, champ. When you do that, you don't even need game no more. It's over. Because she going to do everything you need. She her cherishes she, you. Yeah, exactly. But you want the bitch that you want instead of the bitch that wants you. You, you playing Wiley Coyote yeah. and Roadrunner. Nigga, yeah, you, you chasing you, the bitch that don't want to be caught. You just do that. Everything gonna fall in line. Most definitely, and I and I stand on that too. I always tell people: make sure the people you choose around you, from your friends to your bitch, that's very important. That's the first objective. Choose wisely, yep. off the rip, and yep. go from there. Anything outside of that is your fault. Yep. So if you do your due diligence and you, before you give all, before you really, you know, what I'm saying, say this mine or whatever we doing, and I do my due diligence on it, yeah, you gonna you gonna turn out good. People man, don't do that though. Man, these niggas out here getting a bitch. Uh, uh, getting their body done, getting their teeth done, doing this, that, and the third before she been battle tested, before right. you even seen who she was. Come and this on is now. what I don't get, right? Uh huh. Nigga be like, oh, uh, she solid. She been down. Right. Man, a bitch don't get no credit for me because she picking the best option. That don't make it's sense. I'm, bitch, I'm the best option. You could hey, lose. Could you get something better than me? Could did, never. And did you turn something down better than me? No, you now. didn't. I'm yeah. the best thing going right now. You don't get you don't get points for being loyal to the best option in you can't in get, You can't get points for winning. Yeah, yeah. You, feel you what won I'm the game. Of, of course you finna be loyal to the best option. You got the now, ring, bitch. Now, now, if you one of them and, and you getting... Drake trying to fly you out. Right. This nigga trying to fly right. you out. Or getting hitting you up trying Come to fly on you now. out. And you turn that shit down. Right. Then you get some points. But you don't get points because you just hanging, living a fly life with Yeah, you, you won know, you didn't do You didn't do nothing. Nah, and I these niggas you. ain't putting no bitch through, no, through nothing. Right. You're not asking her for nothing. You ain't putting no test on her. She just around. So just because a bitch around, she get points because she been there long enough? Come on. No, that don't count. Nah, it well, don't it has count. She, it has to be battle tested. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? You can't just be here. Right. It got to be trials and tribulations. You got to come with some real understanding. Because like I say, I know, I know you feel the same way. I always tell the women and I tell everybody out there I'm the prize in every category like I haven't and I love women I had a lot of bad ones you know what I'm saying and I got a bad one now but uh, end of the day we're going attribute to attribute I'm the one you ain't gonna find this ever again Man, so I like treat me thing. accordingly you I, know could what I'm find, saying? I could find 10 of you you can't find one of me it's, it's gonna be and, impossible and, and, hey, and if you do find one of me if you do happen to run into Mr. Organic why would he want to fuck with you right you know what I'm saying come on now like like I tell you you gotta go through the wormhole black hole some <laughs> shit find Thanos and get the glove and snap and find another yeah, like, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm one in a million and if right. you do find that other one he's not gonna want to fuck with you right. lucky I'm fucking with you come on <laughs> chef cause he ain't fuck with you I ain't fuck with you that's how it go and then the best man get it and at the end of the day like you weren't meant for me and, and people gotta move accordingly and at the same time that comes from within you know what I mean like people see our confidence they see who we are but we ain't going off just a make believe facade this is factual understanding this is years of game this is years of living of yeah. working and, and putting the time in and and I talked like this before I had anything. Of I can course. remember I was four deep in a in a uh, two door Mitsubishi I had to hit the light. Come on now. Four deep in that motherfucker yep. though. You know, call, telling the bitch got to call me king, this, that, and the third, because that's just how I felt. Damn and right. I felt like I spoke it up and, and ended up manifesting who who I was talking like I was. Yeah, and people don't get that part. Like like I said, six years ago, I mean, six, seven years ago, I, it's hard to tell. I said all the time, but I was in the basement living on the old, old white lady paying $600 a month. You know what I mean? But I was that nigga. Yep. All, people see my old videos. I'm going downtown Minneapolis. I was that nigga. That's I've been getting saying. the club free, getting all these bitches. The yep. money ain't yep. make me. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, The that's money what I just saying. came. That's what I be saying. You know, I, I used to always say when I had nothing, man, reality just going to catch up with how sure. I'm feeling. 
For you sure. Know, you got to act as if anyway. Yeah. You know, and that shit going to catch up. And, and that's what you said. Niggas ain't started acting a certain way till they got some money. Right. I was acting motherfucker. Ask anybody. I was acting like this before I had no money. You this couldn't to. tell me nothing before I ain't had no money. You know so what, what they gonna do now? Like yeah. you know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. Like when a, when a chick do come along, right, and I choose to allow you to be around me, it's like, what are you doing for me to benefit me more? Yeah, that's because nice. I I was in the basement. Since you're now I'm a millionaire, now you're around me, getting all this understanding. What are you doing to be here? That pussy ain't enough. I get all that. I've been getting right. that. I'm tired of it. You want to say, oh, 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 the pussy. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to bring you peace. I be telling bitches all the time, I'm already at peace. So, right. uh, how you getting points? I'm a monk. For, yeah, yeah. How you getting points just because you coming around and ain't causing a problem? Right. <laughs> like you, they, but they didn't convince niggas to give them points for shit that you ain't supposed to get Fucking points for. Fucking with the nigger nerds. Yeah. Like, nigger nerds need peace. The scientists, <laughs> niggas, and niggas that stockbrokers and all yeah. that lame shit that's stressed. I'm stressed for my job, yeah. maybe. Can you rub my feet? Yeah. Bitch, no. That's Help me I, by goddamn and, bring me some more money. And it goes to that. I say that shit all the time. The reason these dudes can't get a woman like in pocket for them is because what the woman need from them, they need from the woman. Right. They're emotionally bankrupt. They need this woman to feel okay. But that's what the woman need from us. A woman needs companionship. Right. She need that strength. Life is hard. She need a man to Most say, definitely. all right, I'm going to get this. These dudes these days feel the same way. Right. They, they need the woman. They need her. Energy. They need that. I don't need no I don't bitch. need that. You know what I'm saying? I'm so, so because <laughs> I don't need it. My cup overflow, if you feel me. Come so, on, now. so so she feeling and she she ready to do whatever because yeah. she know. But when she with a dude and she sees that he's needy, right? She like I can't I can't bow to that. Nah, you know what I'm she saying. She just feel like she feel like she putting holes in a puzzle. No, yeah. no, baby, you want to make me a whole nother month on collage over and, here. And it may not even be conscious, right? But when oh like you could have a, a woman who was with the last dude and he telling you all these things. Oh, she was like this, she was like that. Then she get with you and you like, man, I don't know who you talking about. Yeah. She ain't never acted like that. Most definitely. Me. It's it's not even conscious. Sometimes a woman just submit. You know what I'm saying? My OG told me, he said, when a man is in his rightful position, a woman will be in her rightful position. Right. But most of these dudes, they out of position, and that's why the woman out of position. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, and, and It should be appreciated when a woman does understand that and you treat her accordingly. Like, everybody just want to smash on a bitch and, and, and keep her, like, so docile. And like I said, they want a Cinderella-type slave bitch. I like, see that y'all shit niggas all the tripping. time. Like, I want a bitch I really to s- have some shit. Man, secret. you know, like, I, <laughs> see, I see that shit all the time, and I really see it with the dudes who making super, super – Crazy amounts of money, like right. millions of dollars a month. Right. For me, I don't care how much I make. I need a bitch on the grind with me, Most understanding definitely. with me, not on, just chat. sitting at home, not doing nothing. Come on, man. I, that's the only way I can feel a bond with my woman is when we working on shit together, we reading together, we going to the gym together, we bettering ourselves together. Yeah. That's the only way I could feel something right. for a woman is when we doing shit together. But see, that's top level understanding, right? Yeah. So, like, guys, like I said, most of those guys that are in those positions, they were, you know, they nerd people, and I yep, get that, yep, and God yep, bless yep, them. Yep, they yep. didn't, they wouldn't been that nigga since high school and yeah. still progress all the way to adulthood. So, yeah. they don't understand that part of, I already been this nigga having girls. I need a bitch that really gonna ride with me for real. I want a rider. Yeah. I want a girl. I want. I'm yeah. a Jay Z, Beyonce yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Alicia yep. Keys, yep. goddamn Swiss Beats, yeah. uh, Nelly and Ashanti. Man, you know what I'm I don't even. I don't even feel like I could love a woman who ain't grinding with I me. Can't. How? Why? What you? What you done did? For what? Yeah. I done grind my whole life to take care of yeah. motherfucker. I just met. Nah, it ain't happening. Well, my mama, I gotta still make sure my mom do's good and all that. And who yeah, the yeah. fuck are you? Yeah, it's, it's it's the principle. It's just the principle to me. Straight up. And, and, and while we on that subject, how you feel about the 50-50 topic? Like I said, for me, 50-50, it all depends, right? I'm always going to bring handle the brunt of this shit, right? So, like, but a woman, you, if something need to be helped, help, you're going to help me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. If I'm down a little bit, you're going to pick me up. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It, it, capacity. You, so you have your, have as much you got. Right, and that's fine. Capacity. But make sure you got something going on, too, right. just in case. Right. This is the real world. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so say, say you know, you meet a woman, y'all getting whatever. She want to move in with you. She right. move in. Yeah. You like, fuck it, I already was living here. I'm going to just go ahead and get it. Right. It, it depends on the matter, too. Me, I always said, when I was living in Malibu, had a big house, and I said, baby, if you couldn't afford at least half of this, you can't move in here with nah, me. that's real talk. That's how I feel. <laughs> like, my, th- my thing is this. Why we need to move in together? Right. Because if, if we fucking with it like that, you can have a little night bag, and you can be here every yeah. day. Yeah. And then when it's time, if I want you to go, you can go. Right. So what's the incentive of you even moving in here? You just coming up on yeah, me? So so if you want to come move in here, make it make me an incentive. Come so on you, now. You, you got to come with You damn near got to pay this rent if you, if you want to be. Cause, damn near. Because you getting, you getting everything. You get to see me every day. You get to tap me whenever you want some dick. You tell. get to feel you the one winning. So, so incentivize me. Okay, now if you want to move in with me, you got to pay it. Yeah. Because you the only one winning in this situation because I was cool for you. Was here. I was chilling. <laughs> yeah. It was already here. For, where you was you at? Was you in the outside apartment, motherfucker, air conditioner, <laughs> hanging out that bitch? Now you in the mansion eating all yeah, the more or, or just stay where you at and come over when it's Yeah, good. for sure. You got to be able to handle this. Like I said, I, 
a woman can't live with me unless she can pay half that motherfucker. As simple as that. Yeah. Because I'm paying full anyway. Yeah. Like, what's the benefit to my life? Ain't no benefit. Ain't none. It, it's almost a decrease because now I can't get my piece whenever I want. Right. True. Like, I, that's how I stand on it, man. Like, you're going to make sure we're we, we going to be both good for sure. You're just not going to come and freeload on the guard like that. It ain't going to work that way. Nah, it ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I, I treat it like, it's like the mob, right? When you got the godfather, you got the big boss, right? If you're an earner to be in the family, you got to earn and bring. Yeah, yeah, you got you just can't that. be a part of the family. I'm the Don that. Dada already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing to be a part of this family? Get this stamp. Man, and you know it'd it be harder the more you get to test abroad. Oh, man. Because back in the day, you know, you could kind of fake not having it. Right. It's, it, it's harder to really test and battle test a woman when you get to a certain level. Right. You ever, do you ever really know? And this is the thing, too. I be telling niggas all the time. She don't even know what she going to do when you lose it. Right. You know, you don't know. Right. Niggas want to act like, oh, because I don't care if you've been with that bitch five years. Facts. You, don't, you ain't never not had it. There you so go. So you don't know what she going to do when you, she don't even know what she going to do. have no clue. Because y'all ain't been in that situation. Uh -huh. So how do you really test that shit? Right. Right, unless it came from the seed, like yeah. you had a chick that you've been with before the bad. Yeah, exactly. That's understood. But if you got it when you got the bad, I don't give a fuck who you is. We them niggas, right? And I still got to be like, is it, you feel that, right? Like when I got the real, real bad, like I said, I'm at my pinnacle. Every bitch, I'm like, damn. They they, they want to, you know, get taken out. I never had to take a bitch out. I used to come to the crib. Bitch, I didn't have to have the TV on the dick was in the mouth. You hear me? Man. Now, bitch, I want to go here. Can I drive in this car Man. with you? Like, what the my fuck? Shit, that shit be blowing me. I be like, what? And these bitches have no shame. Like, right. bitch, you ain't got no etiquette. How dare you suggest suggest that you want to go somewhere and then oh. expect me to pay? Bitch, you invited me you out. You invited me. You know I'm saying? I ain't got no type of Now, it'd be different if you said, hey, can you take me out? Then that's no, on me. You said, I want to go here. I want to eat the steak poppy and all that. Oh, that oh no, you do? Oh, fine. Yeah. Make the reservations. I meet you there. Yeah, that's it. I didn't ask you that. I mean, and, and I get it. That's just how they raise these days. But to me, this shit is... is they watch too much TV. Like, you ain't ran into a real nigga. Like, what? Like, or a bitch. Okay, you're liking my things on the gram, right? A female, right? Yeah. You liking me on the gram. You comment on my shit. <laughs> you DM me, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And you look good. You're compatible with me. Yeah. And you like, okay, I want to see you. Get your ticket and come see me. Yeah, man. It, if, what? It's like the game is back. Like, who you man. telling the flop, bitch? Yeah. You fucking with me. Man, listen. <laughs> now I ain't I ain't saying I ain't gonna take a bitch out, you know, a bitch somewhere if that's what I want to do. Yes, but I want it's the principle. I want to see some initiative for sure. You feel me? If I say, hey, let's, I'm trying to go on a trip. Come with me. I want you to at least suggest you gonna mm. pay for the flight. At least to get the Jesse booking yeah. when we get there. You, you know what I'm saying? Something. Something. And, and it's all to a woman's capacity. Right. But I, I pay attention to that shit because because it's human nature. It's human nature. Reciprocity. As human beings, when somebody does something for you, it's human nature to want to reciprocate. Most definitely. So anytime somebody, whether it's a woman, friend, or otherwise family member, does not reciprocate what uh -huh. you give them, it's, it's, it's lack of character. Because you're, you're, you're going against human nature right, right. now. Right. Something, you know something wrong with mm. you. Something wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I I look at that shit all the time, and I be like, man, I don't say, I don't say nothing. Yeah, you I, keep that in the, keep, in the memory bank. Okay, so I pay for this. Yeah. I pay for this. Right. All right, we're going to see. When she going to ask? When she going to ask? You ain't oh, reaching ain't, nothing? Yeah, you ain't yeah. even going to tap the book, like even fake? And deep, because you got to think about it. Deep down the side, she not, not thinking about it. Of course. She's thinking about it. She's thinking about, oh, this nigga pay. Oh, this nigga pay. Oh, he ain't going to make me pay, which means you're trying to get over. Right. It's, it's so subtle, you might miss it. But you're I trying see to get really over on, on me, baby? Damn. Yeah. I you thought really you fucked with me. you really getting over on yourself because I'm sure. peeping it. Oh, bitch, I ain't fucking with you like For that. For sure. The end game is going. I'm going to win. I'm going to win every time. I'm going to send you on the way. My life ain't going to never change. Yeah. you always going to be in the rat race, baby. I am the race. <laughs> so, like, you just the rat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bitch? Like, uh, God bless you on your path. You know what I mean? You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of dudes out here willing to do that so for sure for me it's like go ahead find one of them i ain't doing it and then they're not satisfied when they get them right because they still square bear they still got their regular dagger they're still the uh goofball day, jamal the, the the music the the media made right. these women think that's what they wanted right. deep down inside a woman just want a real man they want a real man want, little woman don't even want no money she don't but want she that. got a real man teaching her something you know putting her in her place letting right. her know handling business making right. sure she's straight come on she don't even change need her all life that. Because they always be talking about this uh, high value, this high value, that. Man, when I ain't had no money, I had tons of women in right. pocket. It in was pocket. easier <laughs> then. And, and, you know, rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. I just didn't like when he would say shit like, uh, if you ain't paying all the bills, she can say whatever she wants to you. Man, I didn't have nothing. I would be living with a woman. Tell and she him, would Jim. still 
be in pocket. For sure. You know, and respect me. My respect ain't based upon my money. And once again. Money is transitory. It comes and it goes. So mm. if she's only respecting that, she'll go respect anybody mm. with money. And it's always going to be somebody mm. with more money than you. That's a fact. So when you stand statement. on something like that, you mm. standing on flimsy ground. Right. You got to give something that can't get yeah, nowhere. Yeah, and, 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 but hold money. on. And, and, when you, and when you act like that, right? Right, right. These, these dudes teach a woman. To value money, okay, because she gonna she, she gonna do and be however you are. So you you letting this bitch know that money's the most important thing. You teaching her that. Uh -huh. I teach my women manhood the most important thing, principle the most important thing, character. So then when she go out in the world and see a nigga with more money than me, he don't got the same access if he doesn't have these characteristics. Right. I've taught her this is what we value in this household. Most definitely. But you you niggas teaching these bitches that money is everything throwing it in her face. Right. It's always gonna be a nigga. It that always with more money for the bitch. All a nigga gonna do more. Yeah. So like, and I always stood on it too. Like when I saw the Kevin Samuel wave, it's like, and I always had to always put in my mind that I am an outliner, right? So I, I understand those perspectives. Not a life I live, but. Because, come on, man, I'm 6'6", 230. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming with a whole different yeah, calisthenics yeah, 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 that yeah. these niggas would never get. It's 1% yeah, yeah, yeah. of 1% physical. It's everything. So it's like, <laughs> these niggas ain't got a chance. And I get it. So I look at these niggas like, oh, they're going to have to do that. But Because they're nerds. But the most important thing, like I always tell people, I may have all these attributes, but it's the mouth. It's the brain that's really the one that's going to take yeah, you man. over the top. And it's the integrity that I bring. So when I hear all this, you got to do all that. That's nerd nigga shit. Nigga nerd syndrome, I, bro. I done came up seeing some of the ugliest dudes. They had the most Cold. women because they had to use their mouthpiece more. They had to work their mouthpiece more. So I, I never thought it was all about looks. Damn, it's damn sure. It ain't about the looks. It ain't about the money. It's about the man. Yep. And when you can add extra armor to your pieces, now yeah. you're really going to be a real yeah. immortal. And that, and that comes over time. But I tell them first and foremost, of course, take care of yourself physically. But make yeah. sure your mind yeah. in order. So, Bitch going to love the mind. Oh. You talk to a oh, chick man, real yeah, good. Yeah. And you make her believe in herself. Go get some money. Go work out and shit. Man, you sure that she ain't never seen nothing like this? Come on, man. That's how you really get her, brother. Yeah, no, Stop trying sure. to leave with the bag. Fuck, niggas. For real, though, that shit is annoying. Like, But one, one, once again, we 1% of humans and a lot of attributes, so these most of these motherfuckers aren't. So they got to leave with the bag. And, it, and it's the only thing they got. And then again, it goes back to, man, you ain't... It, listen, I don't care how lacking you are in all these areas. It's 3 billion women in this world. Right. You, you don't need but a handful. For sure. You just not fucking with the ones fucking with you. Got to choose wisely. Yeah, you, you fucking with the ones out your league. Got to choose wisely. You know, so either level up or, or just accept the ones that's on your level that want to fuck with you, and you wouldn't have no problems anyway. Right. I just seen this shit with um, Tom Brady and Giselle, basically, right? They both basically billionaires. She got more money than that nigga. And uh, yeah. she was fucking the trainer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's going to happen. First of all, why you got to let your wife have a male trainer anyway? Anyway. That wouldn't be going down. <laughs> Come on, Chad. Break it down for What's your perspective on this, man? Go ahead, give it to him. I mean, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie, I don't really know the situation like that. Right. You know, so it's just basically Giselle, she's a billionaire bitch, model. She with Tom Brady. They was married for a while. She didn't want the nigga to go play again. He kept going to oh, play. Okay, yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. So then she started being with the trainer, motherfucker. He started sauteing that pussy, just like Cassie did with her trainer, with Diddy, with all that other will shit they got going on. But them trainers get to the pussy, man. All the time. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, definitely the do, man. Yeah, yeah. And you gotta salute them. Yeah. So that's basically what broke it down. You know what I'm saying? And he and he ran off with the bitch, man, and she divorced him, whatever. Now he boy. ran off with who? Um, though with the, she, he ran off with Giselle. He with the bitch now. The trainer nigga is with Tom Brady wife. They divorced. Oh, he came up. Of course, Ooh, salute him. I've been looking for. I've been. I've been looking for Jeff Bezos' ex wife, <laughs> motherfucker, every day, man. You man. know what I'm saying? Where the bitch at? You hey, hear me? hey, he came up as far Most as definitely. Tom Brady, man. You know he. Out his mind. I mean, the fact that he want to keep winning after he already been winning, man. Like, do something else with your life, man. You got all this money, man. You still want to play? Oh, you want to enjoy that? He want to be in the locker room a little too much, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God man. damn, Tom. Yeah, yeah, this something we don't know. All this money, all this fame. You got them go, puffy parties, yeah, Tom? Go, go live your you life. You at that Epstein Island, sir? That nigga's supposed to be on a yacht off the Amalfi Coast. For sure. Or something. He want to be around some big <laughs> niggas a little too much, brother. Yeah. The fuck is really going on? You got the baddest bitch, model billionaire bitch at the crib. What? Yeah, yeah, Sit yeah. your bitch ass down, Tom. You yeah, tripping. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that just threw me off. But like I said, man, it always goes to like a, the most important piece of that choosing, knowing who you are, and really establish yourself as a man. Yeah. Show them that. Show the, you a man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're going to follow suit. They don't yeah. make the rules. They follow rules. Yeah. That's I don't give a fuck how much money a woman got. I right. want a bitch with a good job and yeah. all this. She yeah. going to sit down for the yeah. dundada. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For I don't sure. know what you niggas are doing. Yeah. Like every woman is truly feminine. At all times for a real nigga. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So they do sure. definitely need to practice that more. Because I hear that with women like, I'm going to be feminine for the right man. No. Make sure you're feminine all the time. Yeah. When the right man, you know how to really be submissive and feminine with it. Yeah, you know, some of these women, though, I promise you, they wouldn't they wouldn't raise like that. Of they course they not. don't even know what that shit look like. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, for the right one, she going to do whatever. Of course. If motherfucking, uh, uh, 
Chris Brown, yeah. motherfucking Drake came yeah. in this motherfucker, I bet you she would. So uh-huh. bitch, do it for me then. For sure. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. if, if the president walked through this motherfucker, I bet you be ha 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 king. You feel me? So they would treat, be like, just treat me yeah. like that. They'd be like, uh, what's your name? But like organic. No, what's your real name? Bitch, you beat Jay-Z yeah. gonna say that to him? <laughs> exactly. Treat me exactly. accordingly, you so, funky but bitch. But that goes back to what I'm saying. Fuck with the woman who like you. Right. Because if the woman who like you, she gonna treat you like that. You fuck with Every a bitch time. who don't really like you like you that. You lost. You You're know starting off the game wrong. You already lost the game. I'll take a bitch who who like me who ain't all that great looking. For you sure. Feel me? I could buy all that shit. Most definitely. But I can't buy a bitch to really like yeah, you. Yeah, you got a woman that's really down for you. Like, and man, like, that y'all shit move, that shit'll move mountains. Oh, See, and man. niggas ain't never they ain't never had it. Right. They ain't never had it. But having a woman who really fuck with you, die, steal, right. kill, go to jail for you, Woo. ain't nothing like that. Ain't nothing woman like really it. put her life on the line for you, ain't really like steal it. for you. If you told her to rob a bank, she'd do it. She's gonna do it. Look, if you told her to smoke some crack, she will do it. She's gonna do you it. Twice. You ain't never had a woman like that. Come but when you now. have a woman like that, man, you feel unstoppable. You feel unfuckwittable. Yeah. And, and, and you gotta appreciate them. But you, know you can't, what I'm but you ain't gonna find that because you're not fucking with the one who like you. You there fucking you with go. the one that you like. Very, very true. They chasing the rabbit instead of, yeah. you know what I'm saying, allowing the rabbit to come to them and jump out the whole rabbit. The crazy part is you crazy, you chase. You're not even chasing nothing of substance. You mm. chasing just looks mm. that was bought. You know Damn. what I'm saying? Y'all not even chasing some of substance. Now I understand you. Okay, you chasing something like a Beyonce, right? An accomplished woman doing this, that, and the third. Now that's worthy of a chase for sure. But these bitches that you niggas is chasing, nigga, that's just thirty thousand dollars worth of work. That's it. You know what I'm saying? They even, they even got the, they even, like I said, they even got the, the real characteristics and intangibles oh, to be a woman for you. These like bitches. physically. And then the pussy ain't going to be that way because that spread on that ass ain't even naturally put together. That pussy on that ass ratio to the to the pussy lips ain't even naturally been there enough to get the pussy spreading right. So that pussy ain't even going to hit right when you're looking at the ass like, ooh, yeah, that's fake, bro. Like an ass supposed to be naturally connected to the pussy lips. Yeah. So if that motherfucker is artificially inseminated, it ain't going to have the same juicery on the spreadery when you try to enter that motherfucker, champ. You chasing the wrong thing. You hear me? It ain't gonna be good anyway, cause right. she don't like you like that. So you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be good to the ankles, <laughs> yeah, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she uses you, nigga, so she gotta go exactly. hit that motherfucking uh-huh, lube before uh-huh. you even Damn, this motherfucker uh-huh. wet. That bitch done put the lube in there for you, sir. That ain't natural understanding in there, sir. You embarrassing bastard. Get you a bitch that like you and love you, man. Like, and you gotta you gotta really search for that nowadays, cause these women are lost, you know, and we and we gotta guide them to to the real shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and I mean, and that's what you're gonna do. Also, too, it's like you know, dudes be talking about these women these days, this, that, and the third. Well, nigga, where you catching them at? Right. You know, t- show me what you catch, and I'll show you where you where you went. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, like, right. You going to the club. You going right. to, you know, wherever you going. You ain't going where quality women are. Mm-hmm. Quality women ain't these places that you going most of the time. Yeah. So, it's yeah. like. I, I, I get that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, it, and it is a lot of the guys' fault because they, like, and also, I stated this before, and I'm going to see what your thoughts on this. It's really our fault, a lot of these women. We call them so delusional, right? Yeah. Because we programmed them so long with yep. the delusion, yep. right? And it's yep. our fault. Yeah. So now we pull them to reality and it's a fight because for the last 100 years, we put them in delusional yep. world. So now the last five years doing podcasts, we talking, we give them the real shit and they can't be, un- you know what I'm saying, computed. Not they can't. We made them that way, yep. right? Sure. So it's our job to help them come to reality. Man, you know what, though? I don't really agree with that. Cause, okay. Cause I don't agree with that. Because I've never had a problem with the women that I fuck with. The ones you so, choose. So, so it's like this. I, I say it all the time. I don't care what these women these days do. Mm. All I care about is the bitch I'm fucking with. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be out here change the world. That makes sense. I'm just going to find the ones that's already kind of in line with, with my ideology. Right. And then train them all the way mm. from my shit. Okay, got Instead you. Instead of you. trying to, I need to get on the mic and women this, women that. Right. No, it's going to be suckers for you. Right. And, and the most of the world is suckers, right? For sure. That's how, that's how I look at it. Yeah. Most of these dudes is suckers. Most of these women is trash. Y'all made for each other. Right. The top 1% like you and me, it's a top 1% for us right. out here. And we just need got to get with our kind. That's true. Like, it ain't survival. We ain't trying to save the whole world, right? So, like, and I get that. And, and my thing is more the interactions is like, you know we on social media, yeah, yeah, so yeah. when we make a, a reel or something, right, our right, comments right, you be right. like, "This bitch is retarded." Like, what the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but it, that's what I'm talking about. Like a okay, bitch, okay. you already know. Like we said, we on our choosing, yeah. so we're gonna choose the right one for us yeah. in reality. Yeah. But it just be like them interactions sometimes with social media. They think they're making good points. Like I yeah. said about me not fucking with a bitch with kids, and this lady went crazy on me. I don't have no kids. Yeah. I'm, I'm a top tier nigga. I heard what you said. Top and well, t- that, that makes sense. So why are you mad at me? Because because the bitch, you got a kid, like. You, yep. you can't have me. Yep, yep, like, where yep, are you mad at? Yep. That makes sense. Like, what are you mad about? Like, what, you fucked up. Yeah, I'm supposed to deal that. with your mistakes? Yeah, that was funny as hell when you said that. I'm like, man, that's real motherfucking talk. That nigga damn. didn't make no mistakes, but he's supposed should, to pick up your mistakes. You should be happy and salute me. Like, damn, that's true. Let him yeah. go. 
Well, ass backwards. That shit ass make backwards. Sense. Don't make no sense, bro. So it, it just be funny sometimes. So t- tell me what you think about this. So, All right. I, so I did a post, right? And right. I was just like adding up what's a bad bitch actually like, what's a bitch worth? Bitch say right. she worth this, she worth that. And I, and I just went through the list. Because what, what you see on social media, they be like, what you bring to the table? Right. They say the most basic shit that right. they feel like they should get points for. Oh, I cook. Right. I clean. I bring my man peace. I, so I did a little mad. I did my little spreadsheet. Okay. I said, you cook. All right, my meal preps come every week 300. I don't count. Yeah, yeah. you clean. Maria come and clean for me every week for 150. She come on time, too. Uh, you talking about peace. You don't get no points for that because I'm already at peace. I'm you talking about You talking about pussy. That's, that's free to me. That's free. So what I was pretty much getting at is most of these women ain't worth shit. Facts. <laughs> like, you just named everything you bring to the table, and that shit is worth less than $500 a week. And, I, and, and, and we can so, pay for so, that. So what is, you, what is you really bringing to the table? Right. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you dudes ain't even requiring nothing. She Man. just got to come as she is. Man. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? What's easy to get, you don't value. And because you were easy to get to the woman, she don't value you. You mm. only value something you got to work for. If the woman ain't had to jump through no hoops to fuck with you, right. then you ain't shit. It's True. like easy coming. Street money. Easy yep. come, easy, easy go. go. She, yep. she got you easy, yep. then it's easy to let you go. But if you make her some requirements to stand mm-hmm. up to to fuck with you, right. now when she gets you, she going to covet you a little bit more. Right. But niggas ain't got no standards. Yeah, they gotta have some skin in the game. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no skin it's in the game. Just, just get to come and go as she please. Nah, we ain't doing nah. that. You gotta have some real integrity, some real goddamn, you know, what intangibles. What you doing? What mm. you and okay, listen, you ain't even gotta have no money. What's your mindset? Cause your right. mindset, if your mindset is right, your energy is right. Everything gonna be you know, right. Yeah, you got inspiration, you mm-hmm. understand manifestation, you right. got a vision. Come on. Right, now. you could get behind me. That's worth something to me. That's a valuable. But Come on, these women ain't even talking like That's that. That's true. They don't understand I mean, the components. I, I, I got women about. like that, but oh, most definitely. women ain't talking. Oh like yeah, that. I got a cold one. I got a cold one that, that, that's in line with me, and she treat me as she called, and she got it. You hear me? Yeah. She all the way up there through there, but guess what? She treat me as she said, "You're like a, a street Gandhi." You hear me? No. She said, "You're like you're like a god for real." Yeah. I never, and she got it for yeah. real. Yeah. But that's how a woman got to look at me, because yeah. that's what got I am. To, got to. If you don't recognize my immortality and me, how all these attributes in one motherfucker, nah. then something wrong. Nah. I only mess with women that look at me like that because it's true. Man, I'm trying to tell you, that's that's how I feel. Like, And then I done been living like this so long, I don't even know. I can't do anything less because I'm going to always compare it to every other woman that right. I have. But most of these dudes ain't never had a woman like that. True. So they don't even they don't even know that's real. Right. So they just accept whatever treatment like this, how happy right. life, happy life. That bullshit they be trying to tell you. <laughs> no, I ain't, ain't happy that. king and not a goddamn thing. Ain't a damn you thing, Dick Lang. But, but, but if you ain't never had a woman like that, you don't even know it's possible. So you like, whatever, I'm going to just accept this bullshit. You don't take bullshit. the scraps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, she ain't going to handle her fist for you. Because know why? Because you're not going to hand and fist over her in, in, a, in a right way. you you yeah. like giving her what you think she want. To make her stay, you're not doing a real shit to help her build, yeah. so y'all can build together. It, 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 you supposed to bring that together and make a whole motherfucking collaboration and, and a corporation. Know, like when you try to buy a woman, they lose respect for you. Oh, for sure. And then you didn't even give her a chance to like you, right? She might have liked you, mm-hmm. but because you started paying, you forcing her to like this now. Right. So now she can't even like you. Now when you stop doing that, she gonna feel away. Uh-oh. So now you gotta continue. So you know you already ruined her. You fucked Scrap up. Scrap her, go get another one. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's very crucial. And it, it just people interactions are just off these days. And and it's okay. And like I said, we we the one percenters of the one percenters. So I talk to my people. You know what I mean? They, they got enough of these motherfuckers out here trying to move the nerds and all the ninety nine percent of these motherfuckers get you some money. Yeah, I ain't talking to y'all niggas. The top tier niggas, y'all need to understand what we telling y'all, what we right. giving y'all, because this is the different altitude we flying at, and I need y'all to stay up here with us. All right, like you said, your woman treats you like a guy. Oh, most definitely. Man, it's what my OG used to say. If if you let her treat you like you Clark, Clark Kent, you're going to forget that you Superman. All day. And, and subconsciously, if you let your woman talk to you crazy, if you let her treat you less than, if you let her this, that, and the third, subconsciously, you're going to start to feel less than. Right. That's why I can't let nothing slide. Nothing. Because I don't want my subconscious to even start to believe I'm less nothing. than. Then, then that's going to reflect in other areas of my life. That's a, that's a real you know thing. So when I come thought. home, you got to treat me like a king so I feel like a king. I'm going to go out in the world and act like a king. And she should want to do that. Because yeah. if you put your man in perspective that he's a king, every time you talk to him, every time you see him how he's going to enter that world yeah. and he know he's coming home to this and a, a lot of times though she don't want to do that because her own insecurities but a lot of times these dudes gave her them insecurities because she know you're not Sally she know you're not 100 right you know she know that if you got any more success you'll leave her mm. maybe it's her fault maybe it's not right but she don't trust you as a real man right you know what I'm saying right so if she don't trust you she don't want you to be great because then she knows you're gonna leave her yeah this is like them chicks that um that say like I don't like me a flashy guy 
I don't like guy with all the jewelry and all that. But you see them, they got all the jewelry. They got Rolexes and Bing Cleese on. They got their whole entire ass out, Man. pussy little hanging out the back too. They want to be, but the they want a nigga shining. to be dressing like goddamn Dilbert the Dick. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So they want to outshine and also yep. keep you in, in hitting, so yep. you can't peacock and yep. have all the bitches uh -huh, staring at me. Uh -huh. But bitch, don't worry about that. I'm with you. Don't, don't worry about them. They don't want no competition. Yeah, they think they slick. That shit ain't they ain't flying this way. I want a nigga to be goddamn goofball Jamal. No, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look fly. You're going to look fly and, with and, me. And, and women do that a lot. And right. I, and, I, and I think about it like this, right? You don't really know what you did to yourself because you were a reflection of who you're around. You can't escape it. Right. So you thought you was getting over because you got a goofball that you could run over. Right. But what that make you, bitch? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, what that make you? Use a goofball because a goofball could only hang with a goofball. That's I it. couldn't even do it. So, like, how long that's going to last when that's you got to mold a nigga to be covered up? Like, he don't want to be himself and you know you that, that ain't real. They it's go, not 100%. They go and find the lamest dudes that they can control. Right. Not understanding how much you losing out because you don't got out. a real man around you, you to know check that. you. And to you know tell it. you this, to tell you that. Because a lot of these women out here, like, if you had a real nigga in your corner, he'll tell you, hey, baby, you got to, you got to get in the gym. Yep. Hey, you got to start eating right. Straight they'll up. tell you like ain't looking good. Come on a now. A real nigga going to tell you that. Mandatory. That lame ain't going to say nothing. So right. you, you out here looking crazy. You don't even know because you ain't got a real nigga behind you. And then and then you already know like them real lame and real goddamn point dashers, they're real sneaky now. So like while you ain't, he Man, ain't talking these, to you. Hey, hey, these niggas out here on all these motherfucking sites uh, and all uh, that. Uh, prostitution sites. Yeah, time bitches up to the roof Man. putting hamsters in their motherfucking yeah. asses and all that. Niggas getting wild Man, on your motherfucking That's what I'm saying. You better get a real nigga. Better. You know what I'm saying? Because at least I'm going to let you know like i'm gonna do what i do right i ain't gonna lie to you about it come on now you're gonna respect it though right because i ain't gonna lie about it right do, or do you want a nigga who gonna be doing this doing that gonna doing do the it third? Too. what do you want what do you want in this game you know what i'm saying like women women be acting like they want a real guy until they real with them like and they want a, another guy that's not gonna be real with them but it's gonna do you the same way behind closed doors man you know i found though when, when a woman get with me most of the time she like shit i'll accept it for sure you know what i'm saying they're going to accept it. Yeah, every The real time. ones, because you're going to choose wisely. It yeah. goes back to the choosing. That's the foundation. And, 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 and this is how I feel about it, right? A woman want to talk about, like, oh, uh, don't cheat on me. Don't do this. Don't do that. Listen, why would I work so hard to get all this money? Right. Right? Why would I do all of this? Mm -hmm. So I, I, we want to get money. At the end of the day, you want to get money so you can be free. Do what you want, when you want, how you want. Why would I work so hard to become free just to put myself in handcuffs and say, I can't do this now? Why, would I, why the fuck would I do that? Right. Why would I do that? It's just shit. It's just crazy to me. And, and I say that to dudes out there. You work that hard to get in position, to get all this money, to finally be free and do what you want. Then you got in a relationship and let her tell you what you can and can't do. Right. Ain't happening. Yeah, you, yeah, you got to have some balance. So like I said, for me, once again, when, once I had everything and um, I saw like, how women was like, you know, coming at me because of my things I had. And when I already been that nigga my whole life, it was like, it was a real like awakening uh, situation for me. So I knew I had to have balance. And I know what you're saying too, like, but I chose to have balance, right? Yeah, it's yeah, but it's your choice. I chose. It ain't there her you go. choice. Because even when I had it at my pinnacle, I had a chick and I was doing what I want to do. And she understood yeah. that. But once I came back again, the second time around, I wanted balance. Listen, that's, and that's how I feel. Right. And, and nigga ain't going to tell his girl that. But I ain't even doing nothing like that. Come on now. I, I don't even care. Like I, that ain't even. But guess uh -huh. what? I ain't finna tell you that. There you go. Because I want you to know if I want to, I will. There you go. And if I want to, I will. There but you I ain't go. even on that type of time. Facts. Because that's how I'm boss moves. But, but I, but I got to let you know, hey, I can if I want, and I might be. The, the ship don't move without me. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and I don't give, like I said, we, we like chicks that got stuff going on, got good head on their shoulder. Gotta, but they, gotta they, have something going right, on. Right, and they gonna have to understand that I am the boss no matter what. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. She got a billion, nigga. I got a million. I am the boss. Yeah, nah. I got the motherfucker in my pants, I mean, baby. It's not even a question. It ain't no question at all. You know what I'm saying? So, but the right woman, she gonna. I mean, she she gonna let you know, like off off the dribble. She right. wanna fuck with you bad enough, and I only fuck with women who wanna fuck with me. Of bad course. Enough. You know what I'm saying? If the bitch don't follow up for me to try to, hey, you wanna go out four five times? I ain't fucking with it. I'm the one. Yeah. You should be trying to hawk me down, baby. And 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 it's okay because I'm gonna I'm gonna appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna treat you accordingly. Right, right. You know what I mean? And, and we and that should be sought after. And and. More women do that. Don't be afraid to come at the guy you like. You know, take those initiatives. Hit those likes. DM them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, I said like this, right? The more valuable person should be the one that's pursued. Why <laughs> should I not? Why should you be pursued just because you're a woman? Right. I don't care about gender roles and what the world tell you. I right. live in my own bubble. I've curated my own world. <laughs> right. The more valuable person should be the one pursued. 100%. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Makes perfect sense to yeah, me. What, what do I look like? Pursuing somebody that ain't got nothing. My listen, my life gonna be more or less the same when I fuck with you. No Your life gonna be completely better when you fuck with me. So what I look like chasing you? Yeah, especially because we are the man. So even like I said, even a woman might be fine and got shit going on, got her own money. You're not a man. 
So you're not going to be able to correlate this world in the way you need to do it yeah. without a man by your side. Happen, so I ain't trying I ain't to never, hear what you got and all that. I never seen a woman you mash must, herself. Come on now, you better come on with me. And a real woman going to do that. Yeah. And, and, and that's what we need to be appreciative of. So it don't it don't matter like, oh, she's, she, that boss busy. Nigga, that boss busy going to be sitting her ass down for me, man. Yeah. Because I'm going to make sure yeah. she's good and she's yeah. going to understand that. Yeah. And, and more y'all need to understand that, man. Y'all niggas lost in the sauce. You got the bag, but you ain't got everything else, and that shit is embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't really teach it, man. I I, I don't know. I be trying to understand it, but I just can't. I yeah. don't even know where they coming from. Yeah, it, it's hard to even give people that perspective. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I like I like what you do because I'm seeing like oh he got he he got the understanding that only a few of us got that we move in a different different way. You know what I mean? And we and we just giving it to the people that man, get it. You, you know, and because I seen it when I was coming up, I had uncles tell me I'd be sitting in the club, you know, trying to get a bad bitch. My uncle would tell me, "Man, stop looking at that bitch right there. You want to start looking at that funny looking bitch in the corner right, right. there that wants you." Not looking at you, you know what I'm saying? Because he understood, like you want to have a great life and get and fuck with people who fuck with you. And I feel like it's almost like self hate. Yeah. These dudes out here chasing a woman who's rejecting them and then rejecting a woman who wants them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a form of self hate. How could I like you? If you don't like me, you got bad taste, bitch. I can't fuck with you. I, I see you, that. You know what I'm saying? I see that. Like I don't care. I don't care if you Beyonce. The moment you don't show me interest, bitch, I can't even like you. No I more. My, my body won't even like. Let nah, me I like. I can't you. do that. I, I can't. can't do that. The energy off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The energy <laughs> yeah. off. Uh, yeah. Come on now. Like, why? Well, what the fuck is going on here? This throwing on my whole perspective. You know what I mean? So okay, we didn't live the life, right? We live in all these places, all these different type of women. What what have you read into that was like the most, like, like submissive and good woman, like of all the races? You think? There's always a debate, they say, right? Uh, I'll say for sure, off the dribble, it's going to be the Asian. Off the rip. But, you know, I done had some black ones that were- Great like, black ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Great but, ones. But just as a as a whole, Asians, they just, in their culture, to cater to their man. But yes. yeah. But like I said, it goes back, when a woman like you better. Go on, go, yeah. See, and when I say that, too, because like I said, I got I said my things about Asian women that got the extra clampery inside the vaginas and all that. But also, we got to go back to Y'all know, you know what I like about Asians? Yeah. They hands when they massaging you. Oh, that motherfucker get you oh, right, don't man, it? man. They I'm made for you. that. Yeah, they made for they that. They made for that. They but know why that. it comes like that, Goldie? <laughs> because they motherfucking... Culture go back thousands of yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. The nigga culture just a couple hundred. Yep, yep, they yep. they was sem- they was fucking massaging samurai yeah, warriors, yeah. nigga. You hear what I'm saying? Monks and shit that then went yeah, to war and came yeah. back and built fucking temples. Boy, and they was I mean, that shit. it's Man, different. I, I kept a little Asian a little bit longer than I should have just because her massages was so Come good. on, champ. Yeah, like we gonna appreciate them all, but it's just something about that. But we love all you women. Like it's gonna, a black bitch gonna be loyal to a runner because they gonna be more appreciative because they know they kings is loved by all the other races across the world. Yeah. And they get mad when I say that, but it's true. Man, and then wrong travel, with that. Just travel. You right. See how oh, my God. Man, even in Dubai, they love you. Oh, they're going to worship they a love you. We are the superheroes of Man. the world, champ. Listen, and they got a lot of Africans in, in Dubai, but they not black. Shout uh, out to Amer- the Africans. Listen. The we Amer- are niggas, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. The American black man. They Number love one. everywhere. Number one. They either love you or hate you, but most of the time it's love. Yeah, they can hate all they want to because they're mad because we are superheroes. Yeah. Because the number one export out of America is music, hip-hop, yeah. music, and culture. That's why they know us. That's why they like everything about us. That's the number one export out of the whole country? They show you more love out there than here. So when we touch down another place, they get to see their fucking superhero. Uh-huh. Like, what the fuck? Uh-huh. You see what yep, I'm saying? Yep. So y'all better cherish us, man. <laughs> we ain't in jail. We, we live a life getting taken care of ourselves, looking good. We are the superheroes of the world. Don't give a fuck what no one got to nah, say about it. You know what I mean? That's physically, mentally, Man, monetarily. This shit, this shit and we gold. just and we just picking up on the shit that they've been holding back for yep, four hundred years yep. with the credit, with the real estate, with the crypt. We catching up, motherfucker, yep, and they know yep. it. And we just getting started. Man. We ain't no just no basketball hey, playing motherfuckers. Don't get it, Mister Screwed hey, and rappers and shit. Gotta let them know. We could do all that too. This melanin worth more than gold. Come on now, but we got everything. You hear me? The, our brains is it now. Look how we motherfuckers. We came as fucking machinery. 400 years ago. Look how look at the progression. It's real life planet all, of the apes around this geniuses motherfucker. geniuses around the world, black African geniuses, kids that they finding. Did that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got to appreciate us, man. And we got to appreciate ourselves more. We got to salute each other more. You know what I'm saying? When somebody doing good from where we from, we got to really salute them and hold them in high regard. Yeah, nah, that's we got to sure. do that more. That's for sure. Other Make communities that do that. Yeah. They get their yeah, money they together. That. They and, do and, get their money saying? together. Like, you understand? That's, that's how you build Greatness. That's how you build greatness, how you yeah. build real wealth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I do with my people. Like, I know, like, if I come into something, me and my dog, we're going to chip in and, and build it up. We do those type of things. But it took a long time to understand that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it took some falls to understand that. But once I watch other races and other communities, like, damn, you was in Dubai. You see how them people move, that's how they all, treat you, my hey, brother. Man. They yep. dead serious. Yep. Yep. They dead yep. serious, man. 
all they about is networking and how, what you doing, what you doing, how can we do something together? Right. That's all they about. And in some Muslim com- communities, I've seen it like it'd be like four different men live in the same house. Oh, yeah, shit. Back where I'm from, it's a lot of Indians, and that's how they, that's come how they on, come champ. up. And that's how they're able to come up Ooh. in five, ten years in, instead of a whole lifetime to come up because they all working together. You get the car. Yep. I get the house. I yep. get the food. You're all going to live under this one roof. Once you get, get it up, credit. oh, and you got a wife now, now you go. Here, a little bag. Bam. Yep. What you got? Boom. And now, now we marry, no rush. Now we marry into another family. Now we together doing this shit. It ain't no rush because niggas got too much ego, too much pride to yeah. really survive. They yeah. want to be more than what they really are. Like it really takes your time to correlate your own greatness, yeah. you know, and your yeah. friends around you. It'll yeah. take you further than trying to outstun on somebody, outball and do shit you really ain't should be doing, trying to look like instead of really be it. Man, it's a different perspective. You know, I feel like that's that's the music that got niggas feeling like that. Right. Got on the niggas on that wave. Bro. Yeah. That music, it's like the ignorance that we spew through that shit is like, it, it's devastating, right? Man. Now we own some shit. We want to kill every goddamn body. Man. God damn. That was the fuck we ride around listen yeah. to. And Man. these niggas really doing it. Right, that's what I'm saying. And getting arrested and Cause dying. Because if you believe in the power of the tongue, you Vicious. believe in, in, in manifestation, you believe in affirmations. What is you singing that over, just got a body about a week ago. You singing that chant All that the over and over and over. Rondo, A-Rod, yeah. all them niggas, every nigga he said in that song got yeah. double-figured prison turns. That's what I'm saying. Because that was real. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, go back and listen to that song he said, right? Everybody out there. And then go to the case and see those names. A-Rod really did catch a body a week ago, sir. <laughs> A-Rod in jail for 35 years. Literally. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that. 100%. So, like... That's what I'm saying. Like, we got to be smarter. Like, we want to be real. Stop being too fucking real when we doing our art. You know what I mean? Paint a picture, man. Don't don't <laughs> paint a picture. Don't paint it. What's that shit when, they, when you paint yourself and they, they fucking draw you, put you in jail? Yeah, like, yeah. don't paint that motherfucker, man. <laughs> don't paint your own self and set yourself up to jail. You know what I mean? A composite sketch or whatever. Like, we got to be smarter. We yeah. can't get mad for these people that built these systems to take us down and we helping them. Social media, they watching all that shit. Like, what are you doing, nigga? You know you scammed for $2 million. Why the fuck you got a Lambo in the mansion with a tiger in your fucking front yard, you stupid bitch? They, they don't know. That, uh, huh? And, and, you know, it's, it's too much money out here. Legitimately. Legitimately. You be taking the penitentiary chances. Now, five, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you say, oh, wasn't no opportunity. Ain't no excuse now. You just lazy. If you got a cell phone, man, I don't want to hear about you being yeah. broke. You know what I'm saying? You can have your ups and downs, yeah, but you get some money, sir. Yeah, you know what and, I'm and then most of the time you ain't trying to get money for nothing but the bitch anyway. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? So you doing it for for the wrong reason. You ain't even doing it to put your family in position. You doing it because you want the women. Mm. Come on. Yeah, it's backwards. You yeah. know what I mean? So I tell people all the time: make sure you, you should get busy when you're broke. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all them hoes when you when you're on your come up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and make sure you grind at the same time. But enjoy that. Way, you got way more to lose. You got way more, you got way more to lose, bro. I said, yeah, sit in the shit. crib like I got to analyze every bitch that's to come to my yeah, crib. Shit, I got yeah. cameras in every room. Yeah, got to. You know what gotcha. I'm saying? Like, I can't go out like these niggas. Like the greats, like Tupac, Mike, um, fucking Mike Tyson, Michael Jackson, all these. And, I'm not and, going and out and like it, that. And it don't take nothing but a word. Don't take nothing. So I, yeah. I, I, it's, it's paranoia to step in. If you got any type of common sense, you got to move a little different. So I need my people out there to really pay attention to what they're doing. Enjoy your life on the come up. When you get up there, get structured, really, you know, correlate and build this wealth. That's what it's about. Straight yeah, you up. Got, hold on, hold on. I got, I got, I got. You got one something question. for me, man. I got one question. Shoot me I something, to ask brother. You. Hold on. Yeah, shoot the guard something, man. I'm with that. Make sure you follow my dog Goldie, man. Link below in the description, man. We just giving y'all some understanding at the highest of highest levels. You know, shout out to Bam, man. We working on something, man. Y'all gonna see it. All right, I got one. All I right. had asked questions on my story yesterday. Yeah, yeah. All right, what would you do if you were out with your woman? Yeah. And she got out of pocket. You know, nothing major, something subtle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like entertaining another man conversation, doing wow. a little too much. What wow. would you do in that situation? Yeah, like Because a me, lot of these dudes, you know, they had these problems. They don't right. know how to handle them. Yeah, so for me, I'm always an instant conversation person. I don't wait till later. We handle everything now. We don't. I don't walk around mad. I don't want you going to sleep mad. Whatever I see a problem, we're going to handle it now. Ain't no looking do, out do, no I window. The, I do the same. Yeah, yeah, ain't no looking out the window. No, no. Stop the car. Let's yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. I ain't yep. trying to come aggressive. Let's finish it and get yeah, it right. Yeah. So if I feel something out of the way, we're going to handle it right then and there. Because yeah. she might not did it on purpose. Or she did. We're going to figure out. If it's on purpose, your ass got yeah. to go. Right. It ain't right. no right. disrespect around. I play no disrespect from no man or woman at all. Because yeah. I'm not going to disrespect you. Right, right. So it come to me, it's whatever at that point. I don't want no problem. But if it is a problem, it's no problem. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Handle it, check it. Cause you yeah. know, a lot of dudes they they sit on shit that they didn't like and right. they want to check it. Nah, she don't respect you because you nah. should have said something when you when, when it happened. And they're gonna appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I, look, I'm the same way because and a lot of times dudes be faulting women 
but shit they didn't even tell him. Right. All right, you mad that she made that out of pocket move? Did you ever tell her how to how to conduct herself mm-hmm. with another man around when you when you go out? Did mm-hmm. you tell her? So you mad at her for not for doing something that you never told her not to do? Come on now, that's you know your what I'm fault. Saying? A lot of dudes they don't they don't know how to really train a woman for right. them. Right. Every woman ain't coming ready made for you. She she ain't never been with you. Even if she been with you, she ain't never been with me. Fact. There's certain things that you like that I might not like. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? So everybody gotta train a woman. Let her know in every situation what you like, what you don't like, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. And then if she crossed that line, now you know what to do. Yeah, conversation is very important to me. So, once again, we keep reiterating this. I'm going to keep reiterating it because you got to make sure you choose the right person first. Right. Do they even got some understanding in their brain to understand what you're going to give them? So, if they do, you chose the right person, then you're going to take your time to make sure you're molding the right way. So if it is a problem, we're going to handle it according because she might not know she did something wrong. You might not put her on enough understanding to not do that. Yeah. So we're going to have that conversation. We're going to rectify it. We're going to move on. You know what I'm saying? And she's going to stay on top of it. I'm going to stay on top of it. So like I said, I'm big on conversation. I'm going to handle it immediately. And I'm going to be calm and cool. I ain't going to go too crazy because right. I, to be, I want you to be comfortable with me. You know what I'm saying? You're mine. You're my, you're, you're my possession. Yeah. And it is what it is. You can take it how you want to. But for real, like a woman belongs to the man. So you're my possession, so I'm going to make sure you're right and you understand what I need from you because I'm going to give it to you every time. No, nah, that's a fact. That's yeah. A fact. You got any more going. questions, brother? Man, we, we damn near hit all them questions. You got some off the head? Oh, man. Um, what was I about to say? Um, damn, oh, man. Oh, yeah, we went through it, brother. We went through that shit. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? We man, went through what's, it. What's the trending topic right now? Man, what we got going on right now? Man, we talked about Dre. You know, we got my nigga, uh, my nigga Tom Brady fucking up the motherfucking understandings. You know, see, we cover a lot of bases around here, man. Let me see what's in my pot of gold in this motherfucker, man. I got a lot to, you know what I'm saying? Get a people. Yeah. All right, I got one. Uh huh. Would you fuck with a broad that done fuck with everybody? I mean, it all depends. Um, <clears throat> now, is it. Ch- see, okay. This oh, is oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. okay. Would go. you Would you fuck with a, uh, a stripper, a OnlyFans model, like some shit like that? Hell no. Hell no. Nah, nah, nah. It's my bitch. We just having fun fucking. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, fuck anything. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Only fans. I yeah, love you. Yeah, I like yeah, all yeah. the get crazy. Stripper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me show you what I can do. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, be asking me to do it with them. Bitch, no. I can't have my ass out. I got a mama, bro. I'm not you horse. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? But fuck them, yeah. My woman, never, oh, in, never, fucking never in fucking life. But. If it's a popular woman that I know, been with, like a Drea type chick, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, okay, I would take okay. them yeah, for, yeah, sure for sure because because sure, that's status. She yeah, need. and on top of that, if she's not fuck none of my, I'm all about if you ain't fuck none of my niggas I'm around, right. then I take it. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. I don't give a fuck what she did with all these other mis- yeah, minuscule yeah, yeah. ass niggas. I don't know these niggas no way. And plus, like I said, I know what I'm gonna do to that pussy once I get my hands <laughs> on it. So I, it's gonna start over anyway. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not tripping a bitch fuck with all these niggas and all that. As long as they ain't my niggas, I'm around intermediate niggas. I'm cool with that, baby. Let's work. But yeah. no strippers, no only fan bitches. Salute to y'all. I love y'all. I would never wife one of you bitches. You think uh-huh. I'm goofball Jamal? Hey, hey, I'm hey, not. hey, you know it's funny. A lot of dudes is wifing old prostitutes, old strippers, because they ain't never when they done with that shit, they don't tell niggas like, oh, girl, I used to do this. They yeah. don't even know. They sitting up with a with a seasoned vet. Better do your due <laughs> diligence, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You better check that car fax of that motherfucking apparatus. So you said no. Yeah, no, no to the go. strippers. No, no, to the no, strippers. no, go to the strippers. Nah, man. I nah. mean, what that? It's like this. Like you said, you know, you have fun, but like, man, what that look like? That that my that my my family members, Come my on. enemy could Come could, could on, at man. any time he want go get you to dance on his lap Come for twenty five dollars. Stop it! Like <laughs> you we, know what I'm like I said, we just playing around. We want to. I don't want to run up. I want to get a bitch for her bag. Like back in the day, yeah. Oh, you're my girl. Like we talking about for real. Yeah. This is my woman. I'm gonna never. Yeah, the only way that shit would be okay is you got to give me everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. still gonna do what I want to do. So yeah. it ain't gonna be real. So yeah. to stop it. But it has. I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> and this. Uh, yeah, we talking. About for real, yeah, this is my and, woman. And you know, it goes back to what you're saying. I don't know why dudes be stuck on this topic of uh, how many bodies a woman got. Right. Like to me, my ain't even finna ask because she ain't finna tell me the truth. I anybody. never asked one yeah, ever. Yeah, because it, it really don't make no difference to me. Don't even matter. Like, <laughs> come on, champ. Like I said, none of my intermediate niggas hit. Come on, let's let's go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm the nigga anyway, so it don't matter. You should a nigga should worry about the organic hit. That's all you need to be knowing. <laughs> if I did it, brother, you, you get out of here. You ain't got a chance, sir. You know what I mean? I didn't went too far with the bitch, man. I done went to the end of that motherfucker, brother. I went to the Grand Canyon in that hole, man. Hey, hey, tell me this, right? Yeah. So I got a partner, right? Uh-huh. He got this rule. He like, man, I don't never have sex unless it's a reward for the woman. He cold. <laughs> he cold-blooded. I fucks with him. He, he, yeah. He, now you don't subscribe to that? Nah, nah, I'm not going to subscribe to that. It is a reward. Like I tell, like I, I ain't, but yeah, basically I say this. I do the fucking. Yeah, yeah. I'm slinging the iron. 
So no matter how bad the bitch is, I'm doing the work. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to fuck this. You're not going to fuck this shit out of me. Yeah, it's not yeah. going to happen like that. Bitch came and stand up for more than a minute, uh, fucking 20 seconds, yeah. and they pass out. you seen that shit on Instagram when a nigga fucking, you come stand up here and bounce for fucking a minute. They can't do it. So, like, I'm doing the heavy lifting in here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm blessing you for sure. Yeah, yeah. You're not blessing me with that pussy. I'm yeah, blessing yeah. you with this. So I get what he's saying with that shit, but I do like to fuck too, so I'm going to know I me. Mean? But I'm, she's still getting a reward for sure. She, I'm blessing her. Okay. But I ain't no nymphomaniac fuck all the time, nigga, either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bitch, you're not just going to fuck me every day, all yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. Yeah. So his type got to be earned, too. Right, right, right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. But I, nah. if you let them, they going to be on you all day, every For day. For sure. They know they, they know they ain't never going to get this no shit like this again. They going to yeah. take full advantage. You know what I'm saying? I but, would ask you this second question, but based on your answer, I already know you ain't subscribing to this. Let either. me hear it, though. Fuck it. All right, so I got a, I got an OG. And he told me when I was young, he was like, don't ever get in that pussy unless you could give a top 10 award-winning performance. Oh, that, that's me, though. Yeah. I, I, I over-fuck that, a bitch. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah, that's you're what right, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I over-fuck <laughs> oh, yeah. a bitch, man. I'm gonna, you sound like you going in every yeah, yeah. time. My niggas, my niggas all say that three of them. You fuck the bitches too good. Stop fucking every bitch. To, you know what I mean? I'm standing up in that motherfucker. I'm holding on the wall. I'm on the balcony, holding them over the edge. I'm making a bitch. I'm in mean, the end of Jones and in that pussy. I'm archaeologist yeah, yeah. in the pussy, man. Exactly. I go, yeah, I go over the top 10 every time. Yeah, they're going to they're spread it. They're going to spread the news, man. You know the bitch like, I don't tell my friend. You're going to tell your friend you fuck me baby because you're gonna be out of there you know what i'm saying so yeah i got a problem with that you know what i'm saying that's why i settled down now you got to show me that uh that honey line you got coming out got the honey line coming man you know we come with that organic honey we come with that gargoyle power the sex pills you know the um, dr organic sex supplements is coming on the way stay tuned for that you know one of the ones go get the clothing you know what i'm saying goldie give me shout out all your stuff bro what you got bro right now uh young goldie underscore instagram uh the Goldie Ratio on YouTube, I ain't got too much on there right now. Real and, uh, going. you know, you got the Game Guy merch, you know what I mean? Looking good, too. Got the, you know what I'm saying, the real patch working on that. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, guys, uh, we appreciate y'all rocking with us, man. It's, my, it's Mr. Organic, it's your boy, Goldie. We just trying to give y'all some understanding, having some good talk. And that's what it is, man. You can take it or leave it. If you don't understand it, you're just not one of the ones. You just, you know what I mean, a regular peasant motherfucker. And I get it, you know what I mean? But we kings of kings, and that's how we're going to give it to y'all. You hear me? Three of y'all. Shit, we out of here. We out of here, man. Shoo!